There are many muscles that can contribute to low back tightness, but today we're going to be going over one in particular known as the psoas. When the psoas tightens up, it can actually rotate the hips forward and can cause a lot of compression in the low back, which can lead to low back pain. Today we're going to be going over a few ways that we can address psoas overactivity. So the first thing we're going to do to address psoas tightness is we're going to provide a release over the muscle. So the first thing that we're going to do is find where the psoas is. So you can either go two inches over from the belly button or an easier way to find it is following the natural line of the body where the abdominals meet the side. So we're going to take a, something like a lacrosse bowl and we're going to place it on that natural line and then we're going to take something heavy like a dumbbell or even a kettlebell and we're going to place it over the lacrosse ball at a 45 degree angle so we're not going straight up and down like this we're going a little bit more at an angle we want to keep the knees at 90 degrees so that way we're causing a little bit of relaxation within the muscle and we're going to slowly dig into it and you'll, you might notice a little bit of tenderness or pain over this area and that's okay keep your pain at about a three to a four out of ten and then as it starts to ease down to a one to a two out of ten put a little bit more pressure over it and you'll do this until you feel a release of the muscle or a letting go of the muscle this is your indication that the muscles has relieved all of its tension now that we've relieved tension within the muscle we want to stretch it out so the easiest way to stretch it is by performing a standing lunge stretch so i'm going to stagger my stance with both toes facing forward i'm going to place a slight bend in the front knee and whichever leg that i'm trying to stretch out whichever hip flexor i'm trying to stretch out that's going to be the leg in the back so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to squeeze my glutes together by doing that I'm going to be forcing the hips forward, which is going to open up the muscle and provide a good stretch for it. If I need a little bit more, I'm going to do a very gentle lunge to take out the rest of the slack in the muscle while maintaining a nice, tall, upright posture. So this is going to hit the lower half of the psoas. Next, I'm going to raise my left arm up and I'm going to turn to the left, opening up the upper half of the psoas. You can come in and out of the stretch, timing it with your breathing. So I can breathe in, come out of the stretch, or I can breathe out, squeeze the glute, a little bit of a lunge, and then rotate back into the stretch. Or you can do this for time. So you can do 60 second holds at a time and perform that four times. So four sets of 60 seconds. If the standing lunge isn't doing, doing it for you, you can do the half kneeling lunge stance. So I'm in a half kneeling stance, but the action is exactly the same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze the glutes, slight lunge forward, raise up the arm of the side of the knee that's down, and then I'm going to turn until I feel a nice stretch of the psoas. And the time for this stretch is exactly the same as the standing stretch. An even more advanced stretch is known as the couch stretch. It's called the couch stretch because you can perform it on the backrest of the couch, but I'm gonna be demonstrating it against the wall. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the leg that I wanna stretch out and I'm gonna place it against the wall with the toe facing up and the knee touching the wall. Then, while I'm in this position, I'm going to try and sit, stand upright as much as I can. And this is gonna really open up that hip flexor and you might even feel a really good stretch in the front of the quad. Same thing for the parameters here. You can breathe in, come out of the stretch and breathe out and go back into the stretch where you can hold it for 60 seconds for four sets.